Welcome to the VC3 News Update. I am Shanette Hackshaw with the top local news stories. At a meeting of the agricultural ministers from the Organization of the Eastern Caribbean Subregion, the recently developed Food and Agriculture Systems Transformation Fast Strategy is being addressed. A Council of Ministers meeting took place at the NIS conference room to kick off the two-day summit, which was followed by a panel discussion. In order to combat growing food prices, the FAST strategy was recently introduced in Grenada. It aims to promote more effective and sustainable techniques for food and agricultural production, processing and distribution. This country's Minister of Agriculture, Suboto Caesar, speaking during the panel discussion this morning, said that he was impressed with the progress of exports in Lucia. He said that the knowledge gained by exports in Lucia shows that there can be a company established to replace Winfresh. And the essence of it is that we are all very impressed with what Export St. Lucia is doing. And I think that the person who asked the question has been a bit prophetic because we see no reason after sitting here and analyzing and assessing the body of knowledge and information already acquired by Export St. Lucia, why we can't have a company replacing what was Winfresh and have the same information that is available now with the human resource capacity at the head table manage and operate this company on behalf of the entire OECS. I do not think that there is going to be an opposition to that. He went on to say that there are four basic fundamental principles that he prescribes to. There are four basic fundamental principles and precepts which I subscribe to as it touches and concerns development. And one is a clear and very articulate expression of the political will. And today we have all the ministers of agriculture from the OECS in the room yesterday we had an excellent session where we noted that we are willing to work together to ensure that we have collective marketing, collective production, and the sharing of technicians so that we can ramp up production to have the economies of scope and scale to access international markets. So that's a given. The second issue is that we have the revised Treaty of Basitier that we are working through, and we have now the FAST strategy. The third issue, which is a critical one, is how do we then aggregate the factors of production? And we, he we heard clearly articulated from the, the panelists how this is possible. The fourth area, after having all the ingredients you have to know how you put the ingredients together. The Director General of the OECS, Dr. Didicus Jules, said the FAST strategy aims to transform the agricultural sector. Dr. Jules said the summit was expected to formulate a concrete plan for moving forward with the FAST initiative. Today's session culminated with a media briefing at the NIS conference room. During the NIS pension reform panel discussion that took place on Tuesday, August 30, Camilla Gonsalves, the Minister of Finance, said that the National Insurance Services is well managed and sound. We recognize as well that this NIS in St. Vincent and the Grenadines is a well managed organization. And we have to say it over and over again that this NIS is a well-managed organization through Stuart's time and through the time of his predecessors. And repeated objective analyses by third parties have made the point that this NIS is a well-run, well-managed organization. 
According to him, demographic changes occasionally, which may require adjusting the NIS and pension schemes, where rates and retirement ages are changed. In the past, this has happened on a few occasions. And we look at the demographics, and these three people on this side down here, the actuaries, look at the data. How fast is your population growing? How many old people do you have? How, how, how long are they living? How many active working people are supporting each retiree with their contributions? What rate of return are we getting on our investments? And how can those investments offset the growing population of retired people and their needs? And they make the analyses and then make recommendations to us about when and how reforms should take place. We know that our pension plan is maturing. We know that there are more retirees in St. Vincent and the Grenadines today than there have been at any point in the history of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, at least retirees being supported by, by uh, pensions and, and national insurance. And we know that the balance has been slowly shifting from lots of active workers supporting a few retirees to a few active workers supporting many retirees. We know that the pension system that we've set up in St. Vincent and the Grenadines is relatively generous and that the contributions that you put in weighed against the benefits that you get is fairly generous and I think the ILO um, has made that observation that this is a fairly generous system. Reforms are crucial to ensuring you can have your benefits in the future. The Imperial Champions Toastmasters Club is approaching its 15th year of existence, being chartered on October 22, 2008. The club is one of three Toastmasters Club in this country that is part of the global network of Toastmasters International. This year, at the Executive's Handover Retreat, the club's president, Wendy Edwards-Wilson, led a team of seven members, including Vice President for Education, Jackie English Jacobs, Vice President for Membership, Genevieve Cato, Vice President for Public Relations, Alicia Kirby, Secretary Anisha Thompson-Anderson, Chajara Kazan Simmons, Sergeant at Arms, Raman Mule, immediate past president Genevieve Cato. Toastmasters International is a worldwide nonprofit educational organization that empowers individuals to become more effective communicators and leaders. The organization membership exceeds 358,000 people, with more than 16,800 clubs and one in 143 countries. Since 1924, Toastmasters International has helped people from diverse backgrounds become more confident speakers, communicators, and leaders. And finally, an extra twin utter aircraft has been introduced by SVG Grenada Air to provide connections for travelers between Karakou, Grenada, and this country. The dependability of service between these islands will improve with the addition of this aircraft. According to a release, the introduction of this new aircraft to the Grenada Karakou service has excited both the government of Grenada and SVG Grenada Air. With 19 seats and a registration JHJND, the twin utter plane intends to provide passengers greater access options. The flight schedules, which offer departures on Monday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, has been carefully planned to accommodate the requirements of both business and pleasure visitors. According to the airline, this gives customers a number of alternatives to fit their travel needs. And with this aircraft, the idea of launching a daily service is being considered. The goal of the government of Grenada's partnership with SVG Grenada Air is to offer travelers a high standard of service, dependability and comfort throughout their trip. Those are our local news stories. Continue watching the VC3 News Update on Channel 114 for regional and international news.